state of New Mexico is known as the land of enchantment. It is part of the southwestern United States of America, being part of the southwest. Desert is a big part of this state's geography. However, that is not all that New Mexico is about. Let's start with this statistic. 32% of New Mexico's land is forest. This is on par with the state of Ohio. This might surprise some people, but this is just one facet of New Mexico. This is just one part of the state's geography. There are a few things to understand about this state. It is bordered by Texas, Oklahoma, Colorado, Utah, Arizona. New Mexico also borders the Mexican states of Sonora and Chihuahua. Much of New Mexico's forests are found in the northern part of the state. This is where the Rocky Mountains are found. New Mexico is located at the southern part of the Rocky Mountains, and the Sangre de Cristo Mountains are some of the highest mountains in the state of New Mexico. This is where you find a lot of forests because of the relatively high amounts of precipitation compared to other parts of the state. There is a lot of snowfall in these mountains, and that snowfall is a very good source of moisture for those trees, hence why there are a lot of forests to be found in the northern part of the state. The high snowfall totals are also why there are several ski resorts in northern New Mexico. Northwestern New Mexico is part of the Colorado Plateau. This is a region of high deserts, mesas, buttes, canyons. There are also other famous landforms in this area such as Ship Rock, Chaco Canyon, and towards the southern part of the Colorado Plateau there are volcanic landforms that are part of the Mogollon Mountains and the Mogollon Gatil volcanic fields. Towards the southern part of the state is the Chihuahuan Desert. The Chihuahuan Desert is part of northern Mexico and the southwestern United States of America. New Mexico is located at the northernmost stretches of the Chihuahuan Desert. There are many famous landforms in this region, such as the White Sands National Monument, the largest gypsum dunes in the world. There is also the Otero Mesa. There are the Oregon Mountains located in this region. And the southernmost part of New Mexico is the New Mexico Boot Hill. The New Mexico Boot Hill shares its border with the Mexican state of Sonora. This is a region of alternating mountains and valleys. Flowing down the middle of the state of New Mexico is the Rio Grande one of the longest rivers in the United States of America. And along this river can be found the majority of New Mexico's population, found in cities such as Albuquerque, Santa Fe, Las Cruces. Albuquerque is the largest city in New Mexico. Santa Fe is the capital. For thousands of years, the Rio Grande has been an important source of water. The Rio Grande was an important source of water for indigenous people for thousands of years, and it continues to be a source of water for the majority of New Mexico's population today. It is a reason why the majority of New Mexico's population is concentrated around the Rio Grande River. The eastern portion of New Mexico consists of the High Plains. This region stands out from the rest of New Mexico. This is the flattest part of New Mexico in contrast with the rugged regions in the rest of New Mexico. The city of Roswell is located in this part of New Mexico. The high plains of New Mexico share a lot in common with the Texas panhandle for which it borders. It shares some things in common with the state of Kansas. The state of New Mexico is a state of very geography. And to understand this, you should understand where New Mexico is located. New Mexico is located on the border with Mexico. It's located where the Rocky Mountains meet the Chihuahuan Desert, where it also meets the Great Plains. And it's just a mix of geography because of where it's positioned, which makes New Mexico truly the land of enchantment. I hope you liked this video. Be sure to check out other videos on this channel, and as always, be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe.